All right, mate, let's get into the latest exciting transfer news about our Rangers. We're talking about two new signings, and it looks like Rangers are leading the race to bring them to Ibrox this summer. This is according to Football Scotland, so it's got some weight behind it. A Romanian source has revealed that we're best placed to snap up the striker Albion Romani, which is exactly what our gaffer, Philippe Clement, wants as he gears up to strengthen the squad. Despite Rapid Bucharest's president, Virel Moldovan, claiming that only one bid has come in for the in-demand Kosovan and that it wasn't good enough, we're still in a strong position. Moldovan wants to keep Romani, emphasizing his importance to their team and his contract status. But you know how these things go. When the right offer comes in, minds can change. He said there is, at the moment, an offer for Romani, which from our point of view is not at his level and value. I can't say from whose side, however, we want Romani to continue with us. Moreover, he is under contract with the club. He is a very important player for us, and we hope that he will help us to achieve our goals. It is not easy to manage such a moment. Things can be tempting when you hear that you have offers, maybe for the better, but he is a balanced boy. I think we will still have him. Rangers are apparently ready to spend big, with talk of up to $6 million, 5.7 million, being floated for the 23-year-old Romani, who netted 17 goals in just 26 appearances last season. That's some serious firepower. We've got a need for a quality striker, especially with Danilo coming off a serious injury. Serial Desaires has shown glimpses, but we need more consistency up front. If Romani adapts as quickly as he did last season, it could be a masterstroke. Switching gears a bit, there's another exciting prospect on the horizon. Mark Watte, former Scottish FA performance director, has given his seal of approval to Hamza Igamani, who's been linked with a move to Rangers. We're closing in on a 1.7 million deal for the forward from AS Far Rabat. Igamani has scored 16 goals over the last two seasons and is set to head to Paris for the Olympic Games with Morocco's under-23s. Wada, who knows Moroccan football well, believes Igamane has the talent and potential to thrive in Scotland. He shared, The young players in Morocco are very instinctive in the way they play. There is a lot of young talent, but most of them look to move abroad as soon as they get the chance. Hamza was a little younger when I was there, so I wasn't too aware of him, but there is a lot of talk about him. He's playing at a good club as they have been strong in the last couple of seasons. Hamza has also been part of the under-23s and Olympic team, so it's clear he has talent and a lot of potential. The big thing for him will be adapting to Scottish football. It's an entirely different environment. Fwada pointed out that the Moroccan top division is probably on par with the lower half of the Scottish Premiership but playing at Ebrox in front of 60,000 fans will be a big step up. It's a different style of football, faster and more furious. But Watt is confident that Igamane, being young and eager to learn, will adapt and thrive. It's an exciting time for us, mate, with all these potential signings. Let's hope we can bring in these talents and make a real push for glory next season. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Rangers news. Cheers!